Tech Rabbit here. Uh, I thought I'd give a few final words about the 10 gig backend. Um, been running it now for several weeks uh, as a complete setup and haven't done and made any changes to it. Um, actually, I think it's actually working rather well. So I thought I'd um, I was going to make lots of charts about performance and stuff, but I think I'll just give a few demonstrations and then um, yeah, see what else I have to say, and then um, that'll be the summary. Well, I thought we could um, first um, have a look at just copying a large file because mainly I use this for storing videos and stuff, so, so they're quite large files. So let's have a look at um, uh, that's the largest one. like a 2 gig file so let's copy that from the server down to the fastest disk I have on my workstation This will kind of give an average understanding of what type of speeds one gets to. So this is from the server into the fiber network and down to the switch and into my uh, workstation and onto the yeah the only drive that's a little bit faster than the other. So let's do another test. Let's copy it back to the server and as you see that's <laughs> yeah i don't know absolute figure i mean i don't have the uh, none of the equipment i'm using if you've been following this um 10 gig backend series it's not the um the latest technology so um but um that's yeah for what i need to do that's that's fast enough <laughs> So oh, anyway, here's my the editor to DaVinci I usually use, and um, I don't know if this is a very good demo, but um, this is running the um, video editing over the network, so just that the reaction speed is uh, even much really nice. Yeah. You should run this fast. Oh, it's even it's logic analyze issues. I mean, like doing all the yeah general things you usually do with video editing. It's, um, it's actually, um, in my setup, in my specific situation, the setup, it's actually, um, I get a faster video editing experience if I run the um, files onto the, off the server, the actual video files. Then I do that, I have everything on, on my own, on, on the workstation, so, yep. <clears throat> Yeah, and a little bit about reliability. I haven't actually had any glitches that I can um, put down to the backend network setup. I mean, I've had glitches with the internet, but <laughs> that's ISP stuff. But no, no, I, I can't really point to any. No, nothing sort of um, gone poof or needed to be swapped out or anything. So um, it's all been working very well. I mean, I do know that the Cisco um, 6296 um, Fabric Interconnect is <laughs> probably overkill, but I mean, it's still, I mean, if you look at how many ports it has, I think that it's uh, still by far the cheapest 10 gig um, switch one can get a hold of, even if it's very mechanically large. Um, however, I would like to point out, and on this I've said in some, you know, some of the other videos related to handling it, that I, I think that my my specific interconnect unit is not in super good shape. I, I think it actually has, has port level hardware issues. So I, I wouldn't use it as the prime example of, of, an, of an interconnect. So, uh, um, yeah, and then um, the fiber connections have worked better than I um, expected. And, uh, I think the final question is, was it worth the investment and the work? And I would think that the answer is resounding yes. At least I'm very happy with the setup I currently have. Um, 
It's pretty much filled all the boxes, ticked all the boxes that I've been wanting to fill. So yeah, I can I can recommend 10 gig networking. I think it's yeah, well worth the time and um, investment. And if I do get in a uh, enough income from people buying coffee and buying merch from the store, then um, or even PayPal um, investments, then I w I'm actually going to buy another one of those Intiquet boxes. <laughs> So I'm really interested to know if, if uh, how it compares to the one I already had because the um, uh, this poor unit I got it actually got beat up quite badly in transport. So um, it could be that even just um, or or what I'll do is I think I might actually take it up, um, take the cover off in the summer and see if I can find something that's dislodged. But uh, it's it's got enough working ports on it so that I can um, yeah I could configure it and it's working perfectly so. For, for what I need. I mean, I'm not going to connect 48 devices to it, so... Yeah, but um, I was thinking it would be important just to make a sort of final words video and not say that uh, everything... Uh, you know, uh, yeah, after f using it for for a time to um, report that it actually is still working and I'm um, still happy with it and I can actually recommend this setup for others. Maybe not the interconnect. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Oh, see you in the next one.